Greetings, Mason researchers. This video will walk you through the process of doing research using Mason libraries. My name is Joanne Henson. I'm the Business and Economics Librarian for Mason, and I'm happy to help anytime that you need it. But for now, we're going to start with an introductory video to get you started with the research process. This video will show you how to find the library databases choose the right ones. We have great resources for articles, latest information, news sources that can inform your research. And then we're going to have some fun with Boolean, um, really just to kind of get in and show you some search techniques that will get you the best results with your searching. Our library has great resources for finding articles, especially if you're working on a research paper and you need academic literature, or if you're doing business research and need some trade publications, we really have everything in an easy to find organized way. I'm going to show you how to find these resources, but before we move to that, I would like to just point out a few of the databases that I think that are particularly useful for finding academic and trade publications. Business Source Complete is an EBSCO database. You may be familiar with the interface. Um, it's a smaller database than the next one on my list, which is ABI Inform. This is a big ProQuest database. Um, lots of information again, sometimes a little harder to sift through, but we'll take a look at that. Science Direct, Sage Journals, um, very heavy on research, academic research, scholarly publications, so if that's what your paper requires, these are really great sources. And of course, EconLit for all things economics, all the um, important economics journals can be found in this database. And then if you're doing accounting, tax, banking, um, finance, um, this is a database that we often overlook, but it's definitely one you want to keep in mind, accounting and tax database. And then for news sources, I like Factiva, a terrific resource for finding Finding the latest information on your topic as current as today and goes back to 1984, international in scope, so you can really find almost anything that you could be looking for. So to find the databases that I mentioned, we're going to start with library.gmu.edu and on that page Look for the blue box that says databases. This is where all of those databases are indexed and um, you'll be able to go back and look at the ones that I recommend, but for now let's see what all of these look like. So one thing to keep in mind, if you know the database that you want, you can go to it alphabetically up here on the top. So for example, you want Business Source Complete, click on B, it'll take you right to it. But before you get started with this, if you're not really familiar with our 850 databases, we have these categories that you can look through and it will tell you the suggested resources for each subject area. So we'll go ahead and click Business and Economics. And um, again, there's some best bets on the top. You know, that's a, it depends. Um, what is it that you're doing? It may or may not be your best bet. Um, but we do like ABI Inform. It was on the list that I provided, as was Business Source Complete and EconLit, of course. Way down alphabetically on the bottom, you'll find Sage, Science Direct, but there are many others that are worth a look. So I encourage you to take a moment and just run through this list and get familiar. There are also terrific resources for company and industry information that you should be familiar with if you're not. So we're going to go back to the databases in just a moment, but before I do, I want to talk about the strategies that we're going to use to do your searches. And I talk a lot about Boolean operators. This is really just a search technique, and it um, utilizes these connectors, and, or, and not, and truncation symbols, which would get you results um, for all the words that you put these behind, essentially. So the Boolean searching um, this is a chart, hopefully, that helps to make this a little clearer when you look at it. Um, you can get an idea of what these tools do. So AND requires that both keywords come back in your search results. So industry and music, you have to have both of those in your results. The NOT connector, I don't use a whole lot, but sometimes it can be useful. Be aware that you will lose articles if you use the NOT connector that have that word in it. But a good example would be school, not elementary, if, for example, you're doing research on college or high school even. 
Um, and then the ore connector, I use this one a lot. This is if you are not uh, totally sure of the right word to use. You can list, list out these ore connectors. Company or corporation is an example of that um, because the database is only going to give you articles with the words that you put in. So think of as many of these as you can to make sure that you get enough results. And then parentheses group um, collections of words together. So if we go back to our company or corporation, that would be a part one of our search. And then the part two with the and connector, culture. So this is just a way that you group these connector, connected words. An asterisk, it's that truncation that we were talking about just now. Um, it will uh, give you everything that starts with um, before the asterisk. So econ, economist, economy, econometrics. So if you have um, words like that, then that's a good technique for that. So let's take a look at some Boolean searching. So here's our research question. How can accountants improve their professional judgment? So when you come in to a research project, you usually have a question. Um, the important thing to do when you're doing these, these um, research questions is to turn them into a keyword search. So just pull out the most important concepts in your search and think about how you would structure that to be just a keyword search, the main important concepts, okay? so. When you're doing a Boolean search, we just did, based on the research question that we had, starting very, very broad, I have to have accountants and I have to have judgment. This is going to give you a lot of results, so you want to be thinking of ways that you can modify this search to get um, either fewer results or more accurate results. And one of the things that you can do, again, if you use that OR connector, I'll take either accountants or auditors, and I'm adding now an AND connector that is going to be profession, and another AND connector that's judgment. This is just three pieces of this search, three different concepts. So you want to keep that in mind. Accountants or auditors, pretty much we're saying that means the same thing. And then we're getting a little more refined this time with accountants or auditors and my connector now says that I have to have professional judgment together with these two words only if they come back together as a phrase. So that's really focusing in, focusing in your results with this. And now I'm switching it around a little and I'm saying accounting profession in quotation marks and judgment. So just two pieces again, but this is a little narrower because we are requiring that accounting profession to be together. And then finally, this is where I'm asking you to think a little bit about other ways to say judgment. So we can fill in as many of these OR connectors as you can think of, and it's a good exercise to think about this before you actually start your search. So we have to have either accountants or auditors, and my AND connector says I'll take judgment or whatever else I can think of to stick in that um, within those parentheses to improve our search results. And so the ones I thought of were decision making, so either judgment or decision making or reasoning or whatever other words you can think about. So think about that one for a few minutes because sometimes this is the hardest part of a research process. So here we are back at our database portal, and I'm going to look at Business Source Complete. Um, again, this is a smaller database than some of the others, but I find it very effective for doing business research. Um, it's an EBSCO database. The layout is um, pretty typical. You'll see these AND connectors that are built in if you want to use the ANDs or the ORs. I typically like to put my search in one line because I like to copy and paste. So this is the search that we were looking at earlier and I'll show you what this looks like. Accountants or auditors and profession and judgment. So depending on the results that you get, um, after you run this search, you can add words or take words away if you get too many. We got 297, and um, obviously these are going to come up in, in many, many different languages. The first result here is Hungarian. I'm not 
too good at that one. So you could limit your results if you'd like to um, in this column, choosing a language. Um, but we'll just take a look at what this looks like. So ethical judgment of auditors. Um, all, of the, all of the tools on the left will help you to limit your results. You can use the date changes. You can choose um, the types of materials that you're finding. Subjects, the publications can be really handy. So take a look at all of these and get an idea. So I want to show you just quickly one thing that's important is that when you're doing these searches, you don't want to save your search in the browser. You want to be sure and save it within the database itself. So if in this one, for example, um, it says share, this is going to give you a link here that will keep all of these results for you. So you can copy and paste this link and then retrieve it later and it'll give you this search result. The other thing that you can do with permanent links is when you choose an article, if you scroll up over here where it says permalink on the right side, this is going to create your link up here, copy and paste it for just this one article. So most of our databases have tools that are similar to this, but a little secret, if you want to make sure that you're not losing articles in library research, if you just click right click, you want to be sure and right click on the article's title and you're going to see the permanent link come up down below. I can't show you that right now, but right click it and copy the link location and then once you have that link, you'll be able to find this article again whenever you want to. So that's a really, really quick look. The idea with this is to try your search in a lot of different databases. You're going to get different results in different databases. So keep that in mind when you're doing these searches. If you're doing, I'll run back through this again, libraries and then the databases, business and economics, or again, you could go to it alphabetically on the top. ABI Inform is again a bigger database, but this is what this looks like with ProQuest. And oops, sorry, copied the link from the other one. Um, but again, your search in this database is going to be the same, and you'll have the same types of techniques that you'll use with the limiters on the side. So here are some links for you to the research guides. These are different than the database portals, these are specific guides that I've created for research. Um, on my business guide, I have help with citations. This link will take you to it, but you can also find that under get help on my business research guide. Um, and then some more help. Again, um, the citation help is here. I do have a really great tip sheet on that page. This is the database list if you want to go straight to it. And then I have a worksheet that you can find on my guide um, that really shows you how to do some very fancy searching. So you should check that out. Most importantly, I think, is if you need help with anything, get in touch with me. I'm always happy to help. We'll meet um, either WebEx or in person, depending on um, whatever the situations are. Um, or sometimes we can just communicate an email, but reach out to me and let me help. And then the last thing I have for you before we go, I always like to give students something a little fun. On my research guide, I have a tab called Value Added. And this is what it looks like. It's on this page, Value Added Fun and Useful Stuff. Again, um, you can go through this and see a lot of really neat things that we have for you as students, including important journals, learn something new. We have Rosetta Stone for our um, all, all of our Mason community and some news resources. So this is where you can find the Washington Post and the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times. The Economist, all these really great publications are here on this page. And again, this is my guide, infoguides.gmu.edu slash business, where you can find um, help. And again, your citation help is here. Company and industry resources are here. So um, I just try to arrange information in a way that you can find it easily. So my name is Joanne Henson. I am your business and economics librarian. Let me hear from you. I'm happy to help.